Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel A tutorial. In this video, we will learn about Laravel Accessor. Accessor is used to alter or modify data after fetching records from database. Keep in note here, Accessor is actually not modifying the data, they actually modify the data just for only for display purpose. Okay, so here is my Laravel application and this is my database and i will create a controller and model and will fetch some record from database okay and we will use accessor to modify our data so to create a controller we need to use php artisan make controller and here my controller name is suppose member controller okay member controller so just enter this so here we can see a controller created and I am and I want to create a model for this member so create this model so PHP artisan make model and my model name is member and I'm creating the migration for this so just use minus M okay so here model is created and the created migration is this so just go to your project directory so this is my project directory and just refresh this so here you can see our web route and we have created a controller that is inside the http we have controllers and here my controller name is member controller okay and we have created also a model that is inside the model will create the member model and we have created the migration so just go to the database and inside the database there is a migration and you can see the create member table okay so just modify the migration so i am using dollar table string and suppose i am adding a name and in the same way just create another that is string and add a email okay so my migration file is ready so just migrate this so to migrate we need to use php artisan migrate just enter this so we can see the migration is completed so just go to your database and refresh this so here you will get the new table that is members table and in members table we got the name and email okay so this is my table so now just add some data into it so i'm manually inserting okay suppose john and the email is john at the rate gmail.com and i am creating another name that is dev and email is dev at the rate gmail.com okay so just click on go and here we can see we have two records added in our database okay so now just face this record from member controller so just go to the member controller so this is my member controller and create one function that is public function suppose index okay and and we have model for this so we need to call this model so just use app models and my name of the model is member okay so just use this here and just call this member function so here just call return member and get okay so if you run this we will get all record from members table basically there is the two records now so let's call this method from routes so just go to the route so here is my route and we need to use app http controllers and name of the controller that is member controller okay 
and call this so i'm creating a new route that is route and get suppose my url is members okay and call this controller so member controller double colon class and after that comma and call the method name that is index so that's it so just go to the members url so go to the browser and use this okay before that we need to run the server so just go to the terminal and php artisan server okay so my server is running so just refresh this so here we will get the two records is coming from database so now we will use accessor here so basically accessor is modify the data for display purpose suppose here my name is john is in small letter and name is dave is in small letter i want to make the first letter in capital letter so in this case we need to use the accessor so go to the model so here's my member model and create one function that is suppose public function and we need to add get name attribute okay and pass the value here okay basically the name is the column name of your database so it should be same like name and this will be name internally laravel will call this name means this name from this table okay so just use return and i want to make the first letter in caps so we have a comment you see first okay and just return the value means when we call this function we will pass the value and we will just return this value but we don't need to call this function manually laravel will call this manually because this naming conventions okay so now go to the browser and refresh this so here we can see the j is in capital letter and dev is in capital letter it is displaying capital letter but if you go to your database and refresh this we can see there in name and they are in name column we have all in small letter okay but it is showing capital letter in our display okay so basically we can see the database is not modified but we are getting the result so let's take another example so here is my another column that is email so just copy this from previous and paste it here and here the name will become the email okay here i want to concat some text along with this value so very simple just use email is colon email comma close and dot and the value okay so if we refresh so just go to the browser and refresh this we can see the email will be in this text okay so here we can see the email is john at the gmail.com and email is dave at the gmail.com that means modify all the email column okay so we can understand when we actually calling the accessor they're basically changing all columns just for display purpose so that's all for laravel accessor please comment you have any queries about this video next day we will learn about another topic that is laravel mutator please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this